What's up, everybody? This is Easy. Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Clash of Clans video. This one is all about the bowlers. We, last war, we're still in the process of it, but got a bunch of good bowler attacks. Starting off with none other than Flex Luger. I'm going to show a couple of from, from him because they're really good. The first one is just a, a, a straight up slap. There's a ton of different variations of the slap. Basically a slap is just when you use bowlers and witches together with healers behind the bowlers or the witches in, in any number of combinations. Now what he does really well is he funnels the, the bowlers into the core by starting off the two bowler walks on those two points, that, that northern point and that um, uh, western point. <laughs> and then he breaks into the corner, jumps into the core, by the time he gets to the back side of the core he uses the warden's ability. And now you can see the bowlers are jumping into the last compartment all the way on the right hand side. He still hasn't used the Queen's ability. He's got bowlers up top with the healers on him. Uh, now, what you have to be careful of, and this is the biggest mistake that I make, that we all make, is not funneling the bowlers into the core or funneling them directly onto giant bombs. <laughs> That's what I, every time it seems like I funnel really well, I manage to funnel directly into a pair of giant bombs. And as you can see, we still have the website ClashMadeEasy.com. Been about three years now, but about two years since we've changed it over from our Damage Inc. website, the Clan website. Now the Clan website is just a small part of the bigger website, which is uh, Clash of Clans Guide. Some of the newer sections we have the Clan Game Clan Game section, which we are, I'm still updating that because I had to uh, add 127 uh, images with links on them, which. If anyone's not done that, it sucks. Especially for someone that's not a computer guy like me. In my 40s, I used to use a calculator. <laughs> okay, so first attack from Flex. Kind of slow ending, but regardless, there was no doubt about it. Uh, now, one of the ring bases. This is a fairly popular uh, ring base. What we'll see Flex do with almost all of the ring bases now is he brings a Bowler Valk attack. So what he's going to do here is he's going to clear out about the first half of the base with bowlers, it giants, wizards. And once he's done with the first half of the base, then he'll send in the Valkyries to clear out the core. The goal is is to keep a good, uh, uh, some good momentum going with the first troops because it's a very large kill squad. The kill squad in this case is uh, like 10 or 12 giants, uh, probably 10 or 12 bowlers, and the heroes. And you want to push them past the core. That way, when you put the Valkyries in, I think he's using six, or I can't read that without my glasses, six or eight Valkyries. Uh, regardless, now, in this case here, the Giants actually went into the core, so that was actually even better. The Valkyries are going to hit the core. Once they hit the Rage spell, the core just crumbles. So Valkyries are probably the best core-killing troop there is. He, he saves jump for the back end of the, of the core. That is where 90% of these attacks die. If you are too hasty on your spells and you don't save a spell for the backside, and you can do it in a number of ways, you can save a jump, you can save a heal, or you can save a rage. You have to have one of those three for the backside of that of the core, especially when they put their their highest hit point walls in the core, like they do here. Having trouble speaking, like normal. <laughs> and uh, so now he's got a giant group of troops. Oh, I just. <laughs> Uh, this is already recorded, and I just tried to shift the screen down so I can see better. I still suck at this after uh, years of doing this now. <laughs> Going in towards the last defense, uh, he's got the he's got the healers up, and that that's. If you're, if you're going in towards the last couple compartments and you still have all your healers up and you still have giants up, I mean, it's, it's a crush base. Now we're going to skip down some, uh, he actually, uh, this shows you how things can go full circle. Flex came into our clan as a Town Hall 8, or maybe even a 7, asked a lot of questions, learned a lot, and now it's come full circle where I literally asked how to, to attack the, the two bases that I attacked 
We ended up three starring, uh, three through seven or something like that, three through six. Got all four of them in a row. But we're not going to show my attacks. We're going to go skip down. Alm, he gets a six pack this war. He starts, he does the same, he does uh, several variations of the slap as well. Although, I don't even know if this is a slap because I, I don't see any witches. But we're going to call it that anyway. Because <laughs> I didn't pay attention enough at the beginning. And, and again, now this is these bases are actually really tricky. And uh, just just as a side note, when showing these war replays, normally if I show uh, like uh, farming replays, I try to find max bases when I'm on uh, the Town Hall 11. If I'm on the Town Hall 10, we're looking for big strong bases to show good attacks on big strong bases. And the war attacks is not always like that because of how many of how much tampering there is with base weight. Uh, and this war here, they had like four max Town Hall 11s up top. Then they had like two Town Hall 10s that had Infernal Towers. After that, they had another like 10 Town Hall 10s without Infernal Towers. So, I'd love to show nothing but attacks with Town Hall 11s versus Town Hall 11s with Eagle Artillery. And Town Hall 10s versus Town Hall 10s with, with Infernos. But those just aren't the matchups we're getting right now. So, I'm just showing you what we got. Uh, anyway... I'm coming around the top side. You can't see them because they're piled on top of each other. But I think he's got eight bowlers left. Uh, what that means is that they're gonna one shot every single item from here on out. So they all they all take a shot at whatever building it is. It goes down immediately, and they'll be able to shuffle around really quickly for, from one defense to another. And even if they take some punishment here, like this is actually a strong trio: uh, the Tesla Tower, the Bomb Tower, and the Archer Tower. But they all go down at one time, and this is where the, the deception of the bowler stats come in. If you look at them, they don't look like elite troops. They don't have that many hit points and they don't do that much damage. But the bounce attack is a huge, huge uh, uh, bonus. I don't know what to say. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge bonus for the, for the bowlers. That's what makes them elite troops, is that bounce attack and you can just take out so many defenses at one time. This was a great attack from Sable. This is a... I guess you'd call it a bow vape. Had bowlers out of the clan castle. The key to this attack was... You, we used healers on top of the witches. But instead of... Normally what we'll do with these walks is we'll come in uh, to two different sides with the walks. Let's just say top top side and top, top right, tile left. And... Um, and then that, that will create the funnel, then you'll attack from the middle. Instead of doing that, we brought, brought the healers in into the base with all the troops because we had the two packet that went in with the witches, with the Valks. Had a bunch of troops that really don't defend well with healers behind them. So, you know, you don't see a lot of uh, Valkyrie walks because the Valkyries have to run right up to the defenses, which give the air defenses time to kill the, kill the, um, the healers. But with, now also, just notice the camera work here. We're going to lose the attack, it looks like. <laughs> but with the witches, there we go. Good job, Easy. With, with the witches in front and uh, the P.E.K.K.A. And, and the Valks behind, they did a pretty good job keeping the, the healers alive right till the very end. Queen does a good job. She's coming around on the left side, kind of by herself, without any healers on her. And I, I believe she gets the next defense, but if you look down bottom, there's two P.E.K.K.A. with almost full health. The King hasn't used ability, his ability yet, and they're tanking for two Witches. So, as long as the Witches don't engage something directly, they'll keep on spawning sp Skeletons, which will keep on distracting the defenses. Uh, the Archer Tower is almost dead because the Witches take it out almost immediately. So now you have... I, well, we're going to have one P.E.K.K.A. go help out with the Builder's Hut. <laughs> but we still have a P.E.K.K.A. going into the base. With the king, with a bunch of uh, barbarians, I think Sable's got a level 23 king, so they, I think that spawns 15 little barbarians, which that, that's kind of the unmentioned um, part of, about the barbarian king, but he, they spawn so many barbarians. Then we just happened to catch Michael Man in the middle of an attack. This is actually a, a stony slap attack. You don't see all the all the uh, Golem now. Uh, matter of fact, I think two of them have already been uh, eliminated. 
I just know what attack it is because this is his attack. Yeah, it does it so well. He's already pushed the bowlers into the back side of the base. Queen is still up, so she still has her ability. Puts a jump and a heal right on top of each other, so they're going to jump into the last section of the base. And again, this is a dip attack. He's, got, he's a Town Hall 11. We've already taken out all of the Town Hall 11s except for number 1 and 2, and our number 1 and 2 have 4 attacks left between the two of them. So we're hoping that between those 4 attacks, we'll be able to 3 star number 1 and 2, and that'll be a perfect war for us. Doesn't happen a lot at level 14, even though we have so many good attackers. Uh, just the way that the, the wars go, we face a lot of good clans. Pretty good that after all these years, Clash of Clans still has a bunch of elite clans out there. There's still a lot of people playing. They've lost a lot of good players over the years. People lose interest. People don't really agree with some of the management of the game. Uh, I guess that's the problem when you have a lot of involvement with the uh, with the population, with the people playing. Is there's a little bit of entitlement that goes on. I think that we want things our way. <laughs> I don't. I don't blame. Them. I, I bitch a lot too. <laughs> okay, this is. I, I wanted to. I wanted to play this. Uh, bring this one because this is number. I, I think it's his eighth attack, and he's got seven out of eight. Just missed one town hall eleven. This is Sagar, new to the clan, just strong as can be. I guess I'm gonna keep on playing his replays until he screws up, which that means he might be in every video for, for the rest of his life. I don't know because he, he's just playing so well. Didn't get to attack a base with Inferno Towers because they were already all taken. Had to drop down two for this attack. But this is another very common. Uh, you, you guys will have. You'll see this Town Hall 10 in almost every war if you're a level 10 clan or above. This can be a trick. This can be a tricky base to attack, and it's hard to attack it with air too because all the all the um, air defenses are pulled in a little bit. But he does it. This is a surgical bowler attack. He actually doesn't put in a big giant group of bowlers. He puts in a couple bowlers with the healers, and he puts in a couple bowlers behind the pe behind the golem. Then he puts in a uh, a larger group, eight or ten uh, behind. I think giants were were leading the way. Uh, maybe a golem was. I don't. I forget already. <laughs> uh, jumps him through the core again. Saves that spell for the back side of the core. If you notice, it's not a jump spell. It was a heal spell. But that heal spell kept everything alive. So the so the bowlers. You know, maybe the one uh, bad thing about bowlers is they have a, such a long reach that if they happen to split up and they target a bunch of different, uh, uh, a bunch of different defenses, uh, they can they can get kind of dwindled away down to nothing because they don't have that much power separately. It's when you keep them together that they they can knock out defenses really quick. And with that long reach, sometimes on the backside of the, of the core, they'll target ten or twelve different defenses. And next thing you know, none of the defenses go down. They're almost all down, but none of them do go down, and all the bowlers are gone. So, a little problem with that sometimes. Not for Sagar. Does a great job. Great war for the guys. Appreciate everyone for watching the video. Uh, sub to the channel, guys. I'm trying to put out more videos. Trying to put out one a day if I can. Uh, appreciate everyone for watching. We are going to buy the camera tonight. Which, kind of shit about that. But, so hopefully tomorrow we'll have the first video with the camera. So till th till then, been easy. Take care, everybody.